Well, welcome to Super Saturday, the jewel in the Melbourne Festival of Racing's crown. And what a great day it's been. A huge crowd here at Flemington under beautiful sunny skies for two Group 1 races. Of course, Americane returns in the Australian Cup against Managar and the Caulfield Cup winner, Southern Speed. Other key races on the card, of course, was the Lexus Newmarket Handicap. But let's take a look at today's Dubai Australian Cup. Southern Speed is the first to throw out the challenge. Glass Harmonium boxing on. Managar coming through. Right down the outside was American. It's Southern Speed who's run to the lead at the 300. Ahead of American and a gap in the field. Coming down the outside. Precedence with American. With 200 to go. Managar kicking back. Southern Speed and Managar. American a length and a half away. Managar and Southern Speed. Southern Speed and Managar. American closing on them. Three way go. They hit the line. Menegar or Southern Speed in a bobbing photo finish. There's nothing in that with American third. We're still working him out and uh, as pleased as we are to win today, I actually said to the connections before the race, I think uh, the BMW is the race we've really targeted. I know this is a time-honoured race with no disrespect, but uh, a mile and a half and another month for him to work me out and me to work him out, I think we're going to have a better combination. We've just tinkered and played with him a bit and tried to mix it up and uh, he's really enjoyed what's happening here in Australia. You know, we nearly tack a green and gold number plate on him now. <laughs> it, was, it was great to sort of get uh, get a win and get a result for the ODI syndicate. They've been long supporters of Peter and myself and uh, they've always persevered with these European bred horses and it was lovely that the horse came here in such good shape when he left Luca's place and uh, it sort of helped build a foundation for what what we've seen today, you know, so, um, but yeah, many thanks, to especially Simon and Terry, they've been uh, long, long supporters and tall through some, with some, some ordinary horses and it's nice to sort of run, win a, a group one race from here today. Wow, what a great finish to the Dubai Australian Cup, stride for stride to the line, Southern Speed and Manangar. Nothing in it in the end, but success finally to Manangar, Peter Moody and, of course, Luke Nolan in the saddle. Well done to all concerned. So we now turn our attention to the Lexus Newmarket, over 1,200 metres, Group 1 race worth a million dollars. And, of course, Halis was all the rage in the market, up against a fellow Sydney sider here in Fox Wedge and the sporting bet Oakley Plate winner, Worham. Let's take a look at the Lexus Newmarket. Eagle Falls, the widest runner with 400 metres to go now. Hayliston and Fox Wedge, the leaders, buffering down on the insiders right there. Beat it, starting to come home. Rain Affair was battling. It's buffering in front with about 150 to go. Hayliston and Fox Wedge are coming at him. Buffering with Hayliston coming hard. Buffering narrowly. Hayliston trying his heart out. He's driving at the line on the outside and he's made it really close. Hayliston and Buffering hit it together. Photos for third. Worms come home. He hit the front probably inside the last furlong and uh, he felt it, you know. Uh, but fortunately, he didn't have uh, one mare to chase down today, and this fella deserves his day in the sun. He's, uh, he's his own history maker today. Full marks to John, you know, Johnny McNair. Uh, he's uh, brought this horse back from death's door, uh, stuck with him, kept him up to the mark, and produced him for his first two runs back from seven to eight months in fantastic form. Well, Hayley's did all the right things by his backers in the Lexus Newmarket and saluted in emphatic style. Well done to all concerned, in particular Glenn Schofield and John McNeil. So we now turn our attention to the TAB Sportsbet CUNY Stakes and Shopaholic was in the race, shooting for four in a row up against another impressive filly in soft sand. Let's take a look at the race. Coming to the 300 metres, Empress Rock has raced to Assertive Eagle and Angel of Mercy. Uh, behind them, Nocturnal Emmeline and Total Attraction. Empress Rock from Assertive Eagle. Empress Rock and Assertive Eagle with about 75 to go. Empress Rock, Bart Cummings, Empress Rock. Drew Clear beat Assertive Eagle a length and a half. Yeah, well, they seem to be very good up to a mile. And uh, this one, pretty impressive today, actually, against the Phillies. And, um, well, well, yeah, well, you've got to be in it to win it. Yeah, you only have to have a look at her. She's uh, got class written all over. and Big, strong filly, so she's always going to take a couple of runs to hit peak fitness. But uh, she's given me a good feel a couple of times, and today she, uh, I thought she was you know, going to win a long way out. Well, the master trainer, Bart Cummings, did it again then with Empress Rock in the TOB Sportsbet CUNY Stakes. It's been a magnificent day here at Flemington for Super Saturday. In bright sunshine, a brilliant crowd, Hayliss winning the Lexus Newmarket Stakes, Managar winning the Dubai Australian Cup. Stay tuned to RVTV for more news.